Hello everyone, back again today, and this time it's because, you know, Minnesota hired Marwin Maloof as their special teams coordinator, as Mike Prefer left for the Cleveland Browns earlier in this, his contract expired, all that good stuff. So he started out his career as the Cleveland special teams quality control coach from 2004 to 2006. Now... I'm not entirely sure what that entails. So I went ahead and averaged out the numbers anyway. And the average numbers are 82.7% on the field goal percentage. 0.3 field goal blocked. Uh, 96.7 extra points. And that's because one of them was blocked in one of the years. So another 0.3. Uh, their punting average was 41.3, and their net punt average was 35.7. They didn't have any punts blocked in the in those three seasons, and 25.7 punts within the 20 on average, and seven touchbacks, 21.7 kick return averages with a 10.8 punt return average. Then he goes over into Baltimore as the assistant special teams coach from 08 to 2011. And the field goal percentage is 79.2%. Um, there was one field goal blocked. So that goes to 0.25 on average. A 99.5 extra point percentage. Um, there was one extra point blocked. So we're looking at another 0.25 on the average. And their punting average was 44.5 with their net punt average at 38.9. Another point 25 because one punt blocked. Um, they averaged 30 punts within the 20, 6.7 touchbacks a year, and 23.9 kick return average with a 8.2 punt return average. And after that, he got his own gig as the special teams coach in 2012 where he lasted only a year, where it was 79% on the field goal percentage, two field goals blocked, 100% extra point. Remember, this is back in the days of, it was at like the two-yard line, so we're talking like a 19-yard field goal, I think. And the extra points, none of them were blocked. 47.6 uh, punt average with a 40.3 net punt average. One punt blocked, 26 within the 20, eight touchbacks, 22.3 kick return average with an 11.1 punt return average. And then he goes down to Miami from 2013 to 2018. Now I broke the averages down into 2013 and 2014 separate because they moved the extra points back in 2015. And from 2013 to 2014, the field goal percentage was 77%. 1.5 field goal blocked on average, 100% extra point per made. Um, punting average 47.2, net punt average 40.5. Uh, 0.5 punt blocks within those two years. Uh, well, averaged their, their average from in the 20 was 27. And they averaged five touchbacks a year with 23.8 kick return averages and a punt return average of just eight. Um, then from 2015-2018, 84.5 field goal percentage with 0.5 field goal it's blocked per average. Um, extra points go down to 94.2% after being at 100 from, you know, really close. And none of them are blocked. 45.1 punt average and a 39.6 net punt average. Uh, 0.25 punt blocks, 31.7 in the 20. Uh, 6.5 touchbacks per year with 23.1 kick returns on the averages and punt return average was at 9.3. Now, the last two years in Miami, the field goal percentage was... 90 and 91 percent but the highest percentage before that is 81 percent and the only two times that his well a staff that included him on it were even that high was in 2010 in baltimore 
where they were at 90% in 2005, where he was a special teams quality control coach, was at, it was at 93%. Now, I think the hope is he's learned that he knows how to do this now, that they had two years in the 90s like that. But I, well, I assume that's the hope, that he can just kind of prove that wasn't an anomaly kind of thing, that it's actually on this upward trend that he can continue it. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this move, though, because it kind of seems like the punting gets better, the kick and punt return averages go down by a wide margin, but like I said, the punting gets better, and it looks like these kicking struggles could very well continue. So we're just trading punting for return averages, still potentially having this kicking field goal problem. So this is kind of a lateral move for me because the only thing that we have proven with this guy is we should be able to flip the field better. That's about it, though. We don't have much else to point to and say, oh, he's good at this. He's really just good at the whole punting thing, which don't get me wrong. The numbers are actually pretty good there, but it doesn't feel like much of an upgrade at all. It just seems like we still struggle in this area and we just traded this for this. So instead of struggling in both punting and kicking, we might just struggle in the averages of kick and punt return and kicking. That's what it looks like to me. Um, there's nothing there to show me that there will be consistency with his 90 and 91 percents that he at least helped with uh, being the assistant special teams coach. But he's also helped the other averages and numbers in this that include 77 percent, 79 percent, 82 percent that aren't that great. So it's a little concerning. I'm, I imagine this guy's going to have a fairly short leash. He might only spend a season in Minnesota if this continues to be a thing. But I would like to know what you guys think of this hire in the comments below. And until next time, I bid y'all adieu.